Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Coding Card. So today we will try to solve one problem from linked list. The problem name is insert a node at a specific position in a linked list. So let us go through the problem. Here the problem states that you are given the pointer to the head node of a linked list, an integer to add to the list and the position at which the integer must be inserted. So create a new node with a given integer, insert this node at the desired position and return the head node. A uh, position of 0 indicates head, a position of 1 indicates 1 node away from the head and so on. The head pointer given may be null meaning that the initial list is empty. For example you can see here, if your list starts as 1, 2, 3 and you want to insert a node at position 2 with data equal to 4. So you can see here, we are given a list with value 1, 2, 3. So your index are 0, 1, 2. So we have to insert a data, a node with the data 4 at the index 2. So after inserting this new node with data 4, the new list will look like 1, 2, 4, 3. At index 2, this new, new node with the data 4 got inserted. So let us go to the function description. Complete the function insert node at position in the editor below. It must return a reference to the head node of your finished list. So we have to complete this function. So here we are provided head, no head node, the data part and the position. So the very first thing we have to create a new node with this given data and we, we want to insert this node at the given position. So the input format is the first line contains an integer n, the number of elements in the linked list. So you can see here 3 means we have 3 elements in the linked list 16, 13, 7. So this is the line, next line. The next line contains an integer data denoting the data of the node that is to be inserted. So this line is the data part of the node. And the last line contains an integer position. So this is the position where we want to insert this node with the data 1. So you can see here, the initial link list is 16, 13, 7. 16, 13, 7. And we have to insert this 1 at the position 2. So currently at position 2 we have the value 7. So after inserting this 1, the updated link list will be 16, 13, 1, 7. So we have to complete this function. So let us go to the approach. Suppose I have a link list with value. Suppose 9. Initial link list. Initial value be suppose 9 and another value suppose 10 another value suppose 20 this is my list suppose one more is there with value 50 now we are provided a data part suppose 100 and a position equal to suppose I want to insert this new node with data 100 at the position 0 this is my index 0 1 2 3 I want to insert this node at the position 0 so the very first thing is we have to create a node so I will create a node with value 100 and suppose this is a new node and I will simply insert this at the index 0 so for this and this is the head head pointer pointing to the very first node so to insert this at the beginning at position 0 what we will do we will simply check if p equal to equal to 0 if it is 0 what I will do I will simply make this new dot next to point towards the head as it is pointing toward head you can see here new dot next equal to head so it will point toward head and head is also pointing to the same node where this new dot next is pointing so both are pointing to the same node present at index 0. Now if I, if I write here head equal to new means head will now head will point to the new. Instead of pointing to this node head will point to the new means new address is assigned in this head. So it will look like look like 100 is here 100 is pointing to this node 
and head is pointing to this node new node and if I return this head so this pointer will be returned so the list will look like 100 9 10 20 and 50 means 100 got inserted at the index 0 so if my position was 0 so this logic will work if my position is not 0 if my position is not 0 so we have to write one different logic suppose my position is 2 so what I will do I will simply take one pointer and assign with the head pointer so that this is a temporary pointer so this is my head and this is my PTR pointing to the same first node so this is a temporary pointer this is for the iteration throughout the list I have taken this temporary pointer to iterate throughout this list and here I will take one counter with value 1 this is as value 1 cause I have a condition for I have already done with the condition with position 0 now I will check with the next node with the next pointer dot next I will apply the logic while ptr dot next is not none I will first iterate throughout this list with this while condition and in this condition this is my ptr dot next this is my ptr dot next and here I will check if my c equal to equal to p here my c as I am checking with the index 1 that's why I have taken the counter value 1 so I am currently staying at this node and checking with the next node value if the counter equal to equal to p then I will write my logic over here if it is not you can see here 1 is c equal to value 1 and c is not equal to this p value 2 if it is not equal I will simply move my pointer forward ptr equal to ptr dot next so ptr will be moved to next and I will simply add 1 to my counter so the counter value will be 2 now again I will check ptr dot next ptr dot next is not none yes it is not none and I will check if my c equal to equal to p yes c equal to p now c equal to 2 and c is also equal to 2 now let me take this part here 10 is here and 20 is here 10 is pointing to 20 now I have to add 100 over here in between this 10 and 20 so what I will write this is my ptr if I write ptr dot next equal to new if I write here ptr dot next equal to new what it will do it will point to this new this is my new node this ptr dot next will point to the new node you can see here after pointing this ptr dot next to the new node this whole list has been lost as nothing is none of the list is none of the node is pointing to this list 10 50 none of the node is pointing to this list means the connection is lost and we are lost with this whole node so this logic is not correct so what we will do first we will first we will hold this node address so what we will do if I write new dot next equal to ptr dot next so ptr is this node and ptr dot next is pointing to the 20 and if I write new dot next equal to ptr dot next this is ptr dot next so you can see here ptr dot next is also pointing to this node and new dot next is also pointing to this node so 
if I delete this one so you can see I have the pointer PTR which is holding this node I have the pointer new which is holding the new node and new dot next is also hold, holding this whole list now now if if I write here PTR dot next equal to new so it's look like PTR dot next is pointing to this new new node so you can see here it looks like 10 looks like 10 100 20 50 it looks like 100 got inserted between 10 and 20 so this logic is working so after this insertion we will simply break the while loop and at last we will what return the head so our head is you can see here we have taken this ptr as a temporary pointer to iterate throughout the list without disturbing the head node so at last we will return the head let us write the code so the very first thing is we have to create a node so for the creation of node they have a class singly linked list node so we have to pass the data you can see here it is accepting a data part so i will simply call singly linked list node and pass my data here and i will assign this in a new node so this is my new node and first of all i am checking for the position 0 if position equal to equal to 0 then i will just write our logic so i will simply assign new dot next equal to head and i will assign head with this new and i will simply return return my head so this was the logic if my position was 0 so this logic will work for the position 0 now i want to write the logic for the rest position so for that i will take a pointer temporary pointer and i will assign the head pointer to it and i will take one counter is so equal to 1 now i will iterate throughout the list while ptr dot next is not none if it is not none then i will check the counter value if c equal to equal to position if it is equal then we will apply the logic this logic new dot next equal to ptr dot next and ptr dot next equal to new the same logic ptr dot next equal to new and after assigning we will simply break now if the position is not equal to the counter value what we will do we will simply add one to the counter and move forward ptr equal to ptr dot next if it is not equal the position is not equal to the counter we it will simply move forward and add one to the counter and whenever the counter is equal to the given position we will apply this logic as this one this logic and at last we will simply return the head pointer so this was a simple logic let us run this code so congratulations we are done with the sample test case let us submit this code so congratulations we are done with the all hidden test cases so this was a simple logic this was a simple logic to add a node to the given position at a 
given desired position. So if you like this video, please do give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next question. Thanks for watching.